Hello everyone and welcome back to Curses Mines. This is Curses and today I'm going to be doing a pretty in-depth discussion on the minimap or scanner system down in the center of the console and also the energy system. I also am going to do a bit of a demo on docking at a station so stick around and check it out. Next we have the scanner map and this is a circle in the center of the cockpit and it depicts all the things in the space around you. The triangle in the middle is your ship and the wedge is the view in front of your ship and on the map all of the objects are different ships or stations. If I push G and target the station you can see that in the front of my ship that upside down triangle with the triangular brackets around it is the station and it is shown in front of my ship in the middle of the wedge. You can also see around my ship there are some triangles and some rectangles also which are flashing in and out of the edge of the map and it's that way because my scanners can't quite resolve them because they are not in range. However the triangles represent ships with their hard points deployed, their weapons, and the rectangles represent ships with their hard points not deployed. Uh, there's also one further level of subtlety in that the the little sticks that are underneath the objects depict whether the object is above or below you so that on the rectangle to the right, oh, it's just turned to a triangle, and back, it's above my ship and to the right, so the stick is high, but if I turned my ship to face it, it comes into the center of my view, and then I tilt up towards it, the stick shortens and shortens until it is on the same level as my ship, and then if I flew towards it, which I will do by accelerating, it will end up getting closer and closer and I will be able to identify it. If I can. Not quite, not, not quite. And here we go. It's a Federal Security Service Viper. and it's just sitting there waiting to see if it can stop any trouble in the system. Alright, the next system that I'm going to talk about is the energy system. So over on the right of the map is the energy that your ship has and the different systems that the energy is being diverted to. It's, there's the three bars, one sys, eng and wep. So that's systems, engines, and weapons. And each of them is two dots of power below the bars, which shows that they're in the balanced configuration. You can use the controls to divert more or less power to the buttons by just pressing the relevant system. So I've just pressing the engine system and it's diverting the power to the engines. Pushing buttons, it's diverting to the weapons pushing to the systems and then you can restore it and they all are equal. Farewell Federal Security Fighter. Okay, so the engine's bar determines how fast you can go. So if I accelerate, you can see with the balanced configuration, I am going 160 kilometers an hour. But if I increase the power to the engines, I can accelerate all the way up to 220 kilometers an hour. And again, if I get all the power out of it, it will slow my speed and we'll end up going a lot slower. I'll just slow right down and then speed up again. That'll be a bit quicker. So I'm only 100 kilometers an hour. The reason why you would balance your systems in different ways would be 
one to increase your speed perhaps if you are trying to outrun somebody um, or you can increase the charge rate of your weapons and shields and we'll look at that now so you can turn the shields off by using this control here I'll talk about it shortly and you can see the shields are completely off and there is no power in them and when I turn the shield generator back on the shields will start recharging with this red circle and you can see that it's charging relatively quickly to start off with because I had some residual charge in the systems and that residual charge represented by each horizontal line in the column but now that uh, it is empty it's only charging as fast as that yellow vertical moving bar is charging if I divert more power to the shields or the systems you can see it charges more quickly and if I divert power away it stops completely if there's no charge and only goes when I put charge back into it. Once the circle gets completely full as you see the shields get back online and they can defend your ship again. The similar thing happens with the weapons and if you shoot the weapons slowly their power in the system decreases and you end up with the weapons only firing very sporadically when the weapon system finally charges. I can't do that right now as I must not anger the local system powers that be otherwise I will end up getting blasted by that federal security system. Thanks for sticking around. Now let's look at docking at Gorgat Batco Reserve. Okay, we've just come out of Super Cruise at Gorbatko Reserve again and I'm going to demonstrate some docking. So I'll throttle up, do my speed boost and approach the station at 17 kilometers out and you usually can't request docking until you're within the no-fire zone which is about 8 or so kilometers. Uh, so in this time we'll just have a bit of a look around, so there's the there's the station what else can we see? the galaxy, well the centre, towards the centre of the galaxy now over here should be the planet, here we go and it's a little moon what have we got here, no far zone entered, alright so we go to this we go to contacts, request docking Docking request, request granted. granted, and then I will turn off auto and slow down a bit just to see where the slot is. The uh, toaster slot, as I'm, some people have on the forums I've seen say. So it says in the middle of the screen, proceed to landing pad 28. Oops. This does not sound good. Wow. Detecting hostile scan. That'll be the police scanning my cargo bay. 28. So it's over here. So I'm going to go and put on my landing gear. Slow down a bit. And there we go. So I approach it normally pitch down and then use the vertical control and then roll and then I've got one axis aligned oh, just stuffed it up and there we go now just down and there we go alright thanks for watching everyone and I hope to see you next time on Curses Minds if you like what you saw Leave a like or subscribe, it really helps me out, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.